there is power, because there is power in the name of Jesus. Because there is power in the name of Jesus. He's a mighty God. Because there is power in the name of Jesus to break, to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, to break, to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. There is power, because there is power in the name of Jesus. Come on, sing it to him. Because there is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus to break, to break every chain. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, me and Pastor Amy, lift your wonderful people up before you this morning. Minister to them, I pray. Minister to them, strengthen, encourage, heal, set free. You know the desires of their hearts. You know everyone's prayer requests. Come on, come on, join your faith with us right now. Come on, release your faith. Answer that prayer. That mom and dad that's crying out on behalf of that son, that daughter, answer that prayer. God, you heard and answered my mom and dad's prayer and delivered me and brought me into the kingdom. God, we join our faith with those parents right now who are believing God for the salvation of their children, who are praying for their children to be saved, delivered, set free, and full of the Holy Ghost. Do it, Lord. You said in your word, that if we believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, we shall be saved and our household. Salvation is coming to your house, parents. Salvation is coming to your family. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray somebody say amen. Praise God. So on this morning broadcast, we are still in our series, Your Trouble Has God's Attention. We are talking about it's working for your good. I dare you to lift your hands to heaven and say, it's working for my good. It's working. It's working. It's working together for my good. Now, I want to get into the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 4, beginning at verse 7 through 13 and 16 through 17. Because I, got under, I have to explain this to you. As a child of God, you are going to face persecution. You are going to face trials. You are going to face tribulations. And you're not going to come out of all of them overnight. Are you listening to me? The Apostle Paul said in 2 Timothy, he says, yes, and all, my God. He says, and all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. It have nothing to do with you. It's all about who lives in you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost lives in you. The Bible says your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. The Apostle Paul said, it's not I, but Christ lives in me. And this is why the book of James chapter 1 says, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience and allow patience to have its perfect work in you that you may be complete and lacking nothing that the trying of your faith your faith is going to be tried you are going to be tested but you have to remember it's not about you at all this is about Jesus Christ and notice what the Apostle Paul says in 2nd Corinthians chapter 4 beginning at verse 7 the, the Apostle says but we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us we have this treasure in earthen vessels we have this treasure that treasure is the Lord Jesus Christ Remember, Jesus gives the story of the man in Matthew chapter 14, I believe, who's seeking for 
treasure, looking for treasures. And when he found a pearl of great price, he went out and sold everything he had and bought that, and and bought that treasure. Well, that treasure to you and I is Jesus Christ. When we found Christ, we gave up everything to follow Jesus. We turn our back on friends. We turn our back on sin. We turn our backs on the devil to go after Jesus. And it's because of this right here we come into trouble. The Apostle Paul said this words in verse 8. We are troubled on every side. Glory to God. Yet not distressed. We are perplexed but not in despair. You know my own self lately I just got frustrated because you come under attack. You are misunderstood when you are walking with God. Because of the stand that you take for the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, people misunderstand you. People will lie on you. They will assassinate your character. Are you listening to me? They will come against you. And I guess I guess I, I just had, a, had enough of it for, you know, we all come to that place where we like, hey, leave me alone, man. Go get a life or something. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> just leave us alone, you know. We are doing good without all of these problems. But anyways, but I was just complaining. And so I, I, I thought to myself, let me pull out this book by this man of God and go over some of the things that he taught. You know, you, you, got, to, you got to feed your spirit, man. And sure enough, the Holy Ghost answered me real quick through this man of God. This man of God said, look, said he was he had to deal with it too and he he, he heard some uh pastors talking about it and and some of the pastors were bragging oh everything's just going great i don't have any trouble and he said he's listening to these pastors talk about how everything's just falling into place they don't have no trouble they don't have nothing bad going on and he said right in the middle of that the holy ghost just started talking to him and reminding him Paul was shipwrecked. Paul was stoned. I mean, they persecuted Jesus. They ran the apostles from town to town. Oh, come on, somebody. If the devil ain't after you, if he ain't attacking you, if he ain't fighting you, you must not be doing something right. <laughs> ah, come on, because if you are doing everything right, that devil is going to come and attack and try you. But thank God the Bible says, greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. My God, if God be for you who can be against you now watch this paul said this word paul said we are trouble on every side you, you've been in a season like that where everywhere you turn there was just trouble paul says we are trouble on every side yet not distressed i'm not going to throw the towel in there's trouble on every side but i'm not throwing the towel in my god other people can get away you see and and they 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 just have it nice and easy and it seems like satan ain't studying them well listen here i'd rather be on the side that where the devil's fighting against me Come on, somebody. Now watch this. Paul said, we are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. Paul said, we are perplexed, but not in despair. But I want you to see this word perplex here, because this is going to give some light on what you are dealing with and what you are going through. Let me explain. Pay attention now. This is what this word perplex means. I feel the Holy Ghost right here. I feel the anointing of God. Watch here. The word perplex, it means to be without resources. David was there when King Saul was chasing David. David was on the run for his life. King Saul wanted to kill him. Why? Because he killed Goliath. And the people recognized David's anointed. The people were excited that God used David to deliver them. And King Saul got jealous of David. And David was on the run. And the high priest had to give David some bread for him to survive. To be without resources is what the word perplexed means. David knew what it was to be perplexed. David said, when my heart within me is overwhelmed, my God, take me to the rock that's higher than I. The word perplex means to be without resources, to be in straits, to be left wanting, to be embarrassed. Have you ever been there because of the trials and tribulation that you were going through? Have you ever been embarrassed because people misunderstood your trials? They misunderstood your tribulations. They misunderstood your turmoil and they said stuff about you that's not true. Oh, come on somebody. Job's friends, Job's friends attacked his character because Satan attacked Job. Job, all, all 10 kids died. He lost his business. 
Jesus. So his friends begin to berate him and talk down to him and say, you got to have some kind of sin in your life. D do you think Job wasn't embarrassed? Yes. To be in doubt. Have you ever been in doubt? This, this is the apostle Paul. This is, this is how he felt. The word perplex also means to not know which way to turn. To be at a loss with oneself. To not know how to decide or what to do. I've been in them situations where I didn't know how it was going to work out. I didn't know which direction to move in. Some of you are there right now. Oh, I feel this word's for you. If you are in that type of situation right now, I want you to know, my friend, it's working for your good. Come on. It's working. My God, I say it's working. I said it's working. It's working. And we know. Romans 8, 28. And we know that all things, it works together for good to them who love God, who are called according to his purpose. It's working together for your good. God is working this thing out. Paul said, let me read that again. Someone, someone need to hear that again. The word perplex means to be without resources, to be in straits, to be left wanting, to be embarrassed, to be in doubt, to not know which way to turn, to be at a loss with oneself, not to know how to decide or what to do. I've been there. Me and Pastor Amy have been there. Listen to what Paul said in verse 9. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. Always. I remember when I first came across that verse 10. I wanted to run away from that scripture. Notice the words right here. Always bearing about in the body the dying of the Lord Jesus, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our body. You will always have something to deal with. If you are genuinely sold out to Jesus and full of the Holy Ghost, if you are a born again Christian, your name is written down in the Lamb's Book of Life and you are on your way to heaven, you are going to have victory. You are going to have breakthrough and God will give you seasons of rest. But you are always going to have something in your life to deal with. Paul says it right here. Always. And why is this always got to happen? Because remember verse 7, he says, we have this treasure in earthen vessels. I'm carrying the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. When I show up, Jesus shows up. Heaven shows up. Father God shows up. The Holy Ghost shows up. The angels are there because the Bible says the angels of God encamp around those who fear him. Ah, glory to God. I'm a kingdom man. You're a kingdom man. You're a kingdom woman. Oh, come on, somebody. Watch this. For we which live, this is Paul, for we which live are always delivered unto, the, unto death for Jesus' sake, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our mortal flesh. You want the power of God? Shakarabahasata. Somebody just been healed in the left air drum area. You have some type of sharp pain in your left air drum. The Holy Ghost have just healed you. Just reach your hands up and put your hands over that air and say, Lord, I receive my miracle in Jesus name that quick that quick somebody who had a sharp aching pain chronic pain in your left eardrum have just been healed by the power of God receive that miracle in Jesus name I believe the Holy Ghost is allowing me to see somebody on a wheelchair your legs are getting hot the power of God is in your legs your legs are beginning to work rise up and walk in the name of Jesus get up out of that wheelchair and begin to walk in the name of Jesus I rebuke that devil of paralysis power in the name I rebuke rebuke it in the name of Jesus I rebuke it I rebuke that devil of paralysis that spirit of infirmity come out of their bodies in the name of Jesus loose them and let them go I feel the Holy Ghost P Paul said I feel the anointing of God here to break every chain to break to break every chain. Listen to this. Paul says, We which live are always delivered to death for Jesus' sake, that the life also of Jesus might be manifest in our physical bodies. Listen. This is why you have to go through it. God allows you to be tried. 
You go through trials. You go through tribulations. But guess what? As you go through these things, the power of God descends on your life stronger. The power of God intensifies. Paul cried out to God in 2 Corinthians 12. Paul said, God, I can't take it. Get this. Get me out of this trouble. God said to Paul, my grace is sufficient for you, for my strength is made perfect in your weakness. Paul says, once I understood that, Paul said, I've learned to glory in trials and tribulations. Because it's in those moments that the power of the resurrected Christ rests on me. Lord, help us. I'm going to jump to verse 16 and 17. Paul says, for which cause we faint not. But though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, is working for us. A far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. It's working for you. Receive the touch of God in your bodies. To break, to break every chain. Break every chain. My God, my God. To break, to break every chain. There is power, cause there is power in the name of Jesus. Come on, just lay your hands on that part of your body where you want God to heal you. Come on, just do it, just do it. Lay your hands on that part of your body where you want God to heal. You want God to touch you? Be healed. Receive the touch of God. Receive the touch of God in your body. Receive the touch of God in your body. To break, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. There's an army, cause there's an army rising up. There's an army, cause there's an army rising up. There's an army, cause there's an army. Are you a part of that last day's army? To break, to break every chain. Receive your healing, receive your healing, receive it, receive it, receive it. Receive the healing touch of the Lord Jesus. Receive the healing touch of the Lord Jesus in your body. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed, be healed, be healed. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Rise up and walk. Put that crutches down. Get up and walk. Come from behind that walker, that rolling walker. Get up out of that wheelchair. Take off that leg brace and check your legs. Take off that hand brace and check your hands. Take off that neck brace and check your neck. The power of God. The power of God. The power of God. Receive your miracle. Receive your healing in the name of Jesus. Begin to check your bodies. Begin to check your bodies. And as soon as you know you are healed, we want to hear from you. I surrender all. There are some of you, under the sound of my voice on this morning, you need to make things right with God. He loves you. With an everlasting love, the Bible says, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life without any further hesitation. I want you to pray this prayer to me right now. Say, Lord Jesus, I am a sinner in desperate need of a savior. Lord, I ask you to forgive me of all of my sins. Wash me in your blood. I believe you are the Son of God. I believe you died on Calvary Cross for me. They buried you in a borrowed tomb. But on the third day, God raised you from the dead. You are now seated at God's right hand. And soon and very soon, you are coming again. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for forgiving me of my sins washing me in your blood and writing my name down in the Lamb's book of life. From this day moving forward, I turn my back on the world, the flesh, and the devil. 
Thank you for saving my soul. Listen, if you prayed that prayer at me and meant it with all of your heart, let me and my beautiful wife, Pastor Amy, be the first to say to you, welcome into the kingdom of God. Welcome into the family of God. Welcome. I want you to type below this video if you prayed that prayer with us. Type below this video right now. I've just surrendered my life to Jesus. My blessed Savior and I surrender all. I give myself. I give myself away. Sing it to the King. Sing it. I give myself away so you, so you can use me. Sing it to him. I give myself away. I give myself, I give myself away. So you, here I am. Sing it to the king. Here I am. Here I stand. Lord, my life is in your hands. Lord, I'm longing to see your desires revealed in me. Sing it to the King. I give myself. Come on, put your hands together. I give myself. Give myself away so you listen. We want to give you an opportunity on this morning to support the preaching of the gospel, and to do so, you can visit us online right now at seanpinder.net forward slash give. You can also give through the ministry PayPal account. That address is paypal.me forward slash Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also text to give. All you have to do is text the letters SPM to the number 45888 and a link will automatically be sent to you. You can also give through the Ministry Zell account. The Ministry Zell email address is info at seanpinder.net. You can also give through the Ministry Cash App account. The Ministry Cash App address is the dollar sign Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also mail your donations into the ministry. Just remember to make your checks and money orders out to Sean Pinder Ministries, P.O. Box 2726, McKinney, Texas 75070. Never forget, me and my beautiful wife, we love you. We appreciate you. We don't take you for granted. We love you. God bless you. We'll see you on tomorrow on another morning prayer broadcast. God bless you. Bye-bye.